Hey guys, Tabby here and welcome back to my channel. So guys, as you can tell, I am in a different setup, meaning I am actually sitting on my floor in front of my bookshelf. But as you guys can tell, this is going to be a double owl crate unboxing. I have the November box and the December box to unbox for you guys. It has actually been a very long time since I've done a video with just owl crate. Owl crate is my longest subscription box. I've had it for over a year now. So I've decided just to unbox these for you guys in a rather laid back, chill setting. But if you were interested, keep watching and let's get into it sneak peek for November's box and right on top we have a blanket which you guys know I love when we get blankets so soft it's not very big but let's see what it says all forests are magic poly black that is so freaking pretty. I actually just finished reading The Queen of Nothing it was only like 300 pages I was kind of surprised it wasn't much bigger than that. It was a very easy read, but I liked it. Holly Black did a great job kind of tying everything up. So I am such a big fan of this. And next is the spoiler card. Ooh, I don't know why. That's kind of giving me Akatar vibes, but very pretty spoilers on the back. Next, we have a brown package. Oh, it's an ornament and it says trees in your eyes, stars in your heart. I have no idea what that is based off of. Hold on. Oh, The Raven Boys. I have read the first book of The Raven Boys, but I have not read any more. I don't remember that, but that is still a very pretty wood ornament, so it'll definitely go on my tree. And next we have a, another brown package. It is a metal bookmark, and it says Her Paper World. Oh, that's the back of it. <laughs> wow. Well. And it says, there was a song in this forest too, but it was a savage song, whispering of madness and tearing and rage. That is such a pretty bookmark. And I adore when we get metal bookmarks. They are so sturdy. So, yes. And next we have our monthly enamel pin. It looks like it has a moth with some snowflakes and a crescent moon. This is so pretty and I love the shape of it that is so cool for those who don't know the enamel pins are based off the book in the box so I'm excited to see what book we got oh yes oh I'm so excited I forgot that the November box had our new reading planner and it does kind of look foresty so every month we'll have a favorite books page a calendar page a book wish list and a monthly TBR Ooh, that's awesome a weekly planner and book review pages and then a page for favorite quotes and a monthly wrap-up page and it also has some pages for notes I love the foresty art that they have throughout this I am so excited to use this I'm so bad about doing my monthly TBRs and book reviews and stuff so maybe this will help me kind of Remember to write it all down after I read a book. That way when I do end up doing a book review, it'll be easier. And next it looks like we have some stickers from Pip Sticker. So I'm assuming this is for our reading planner. Because look, it even has like Owl Crate stickers. Book Nerd, Reading List, Special Delivery from Owl Crate. Yes, that is awesome. I love the little cup that says, shh, I'm reading. But yeah, that is so cute. Kind of helps make planning my month a little more fun. And guys, finally, we are to the book. As always, it is an exclusive signed edition from Owlcrate. No, they didn't. Oh my gosh. Hold the phone. It has blue sprayed edges. What? We have never got sprayed edges from Owl Crates. Oh, that is awesome. But it did come with a letter from the author, and the book is Winterwood by Shay Earnshaw. Maybe? This is such a pretty cover. Wow, the blue edges are killing me though. That is awesome. How exclusive Owl Crates book is for me is like worth the price of the box just for the book. I adore the exclusive covers that Alcrate does and now they're doing sprayed edges like consider me shook. 
I am shook, guys. But it should be signed by the author, and it is. And let's see what it looks like without. Ooh! So, like, silver branches, and then silver on the spine with some moons. Oh! That is so pretty. But I am gonna go ahead and read the description real fast. Be careful of the dark, dark wood, especially the woods surrounding the town of Fearhaven. Some say these woods are magical, cursed even. Rumored to be a witch, only Nora Walker knows the truth. She and the Walker women before her have always shared a special connection with the woods. And it's this special connection that leads Nora to Oliver Huntsman, the same boy who disappeared from the camp for wayward boys weeks ago and in the middle of the worst snowstorm in years. He should be dead, but here he is alive and left in the woods with no memory of the time he'd been missing. But Nora can feel an uneasy shift in the woods at Oliver's presence. And it's not too long after that Nora realizes she has no choice but to unearth the truth behind how the boy she has come to care so deeply about survived his time in the forest and what led him there in the first place. What Nora doesn't know though is that Oliver has secrets of his own. Secrets he'll do anything to keep buried because as it turns out, he wasn't the only one who went missing on that fateful night all those weeks ago. For as long as there have been fairy tales, we have been warned to fear what lies in the dark, dark woods. And in Winterwood, New York Times bestselling author Shay Earnshaw shows us why. That sounds amazing. But I cannot get over this freaking cover and sprayed edges shook you got me shook out great but guys that is everything from november's box let's take a quick look at their pamphlet i am so glad they are printing the pamphlet again because they didn't in october's box and i kind of like having it as always it has the interview with the author and then it shows us the regular cover and the Owlcrate exclusive cover. But I have to say I like Owlcrates more, but both are so pretty. And it tells us a little bit about Pip Sticks, if I'm saying it correctly. And then the photo challenge. Wait, hold on, this is new. They have a playlist on here. It says a playlist for losing yourself in woods full of dark, magical, and ancient secrets. So you can have the Spotify app and scan this little barcode and I guess listen to this music. That is so cool. Wow, that's new. I like that. But guys, it doesn't tell us anything about December's box, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I have it right here, so. But guys, as always, you will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. From November's box, the book, I have to say, is my favorite item just because it's gorgeous. I, I can't get over it. But item wise, it would definitely have to be the Cruel Prince blanket and our new reading planner. I didn't really have a least favorite. I liked everything, even the stickers. So such a strong box from Alcrate as always. But let's go ahead and move on to December's box. Sneak peek. And this is the spoiler card and the theme was Tales of Trickery. So spoilers on the back. Oh my gosh, the first item I am already in love with. It is earmuffs. It says Caravel Rose Earmuffs Owlcrate Exclusive. I have not read the Caravel series. I know, don't hate me, but wow, these are so pretty. They have like gray faux fur and like roses. Let's give them a try. These are so cute. I will definitely be using these this winter. Love this. Even though I haven't read the Caravel series, still such a good item. And next we have a candle. It says Mount Ruin Fire and Cinnamon Chai Soy Candles for Bookworms, 4 ounce, made exclusively for Owlcrate. And this is Novelly Yours Candles. Let's see what it looks like. So just red. Ooh, and it does have a wood burning wick. Whoo! That is strong but I love it. Oh my gosh, I love cinnamon. Pretty much anything that has orange and cinnamon in it, I am going to like it. It is very strong though. I'm not sure what this is based off of. Inspired by Grace and Fury. Hmm, I have not read that either, but I adore this candle. It smells 
amazing. And next we have a blue box with axes and snowflakes on there. And on the back it says, Sky in the Deep Hand Warmer. Wait, what? Once activated, this magical heat pad will instantly and safely heat up to approximately 129 degrees Fahrenheit. It is great for warming hands in the winter and to help soothe muscle aches, cramps, arthritis, pain, blah, 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 blah. And it can be reused more than 100 times. I've never got a hand warmer in a box before. So this is what it looks like. And it says, breathe fire. But look, it came with its own little like glove so you don't put it directly to your skin because you can burn your skin. That is so freaking cool. And the fact that you can reuse it. This is just why I love Alcrates. They still, to this day, surprise me. And next we have a book sleeve and it says it was always wise to be polite to books whether or not they could hear you. Oh, that is so cool. I love that quote. I think this is from Sorcery of Thorns because I know they said they were gonna have a Sorcery of Thorns item. I might be completely wrong, hold on. Yes, inspired by Sorcery of Thorns and designed by Chatty Nura. I loved Sorcery of Thorns. Surpr I was so surprised that so many people had mixed reviews about that. I thought it was such a good book. You guys know I love book sleeves. Like, look at my book sleeve collection. Yes. <laughs> so you can never have too many book sleeves, in my opinion. And next we have our monthly enamel pen. So it looks like a castle with vines growing around it. So yes, that is so pretty. I will say though, I think I like November's enamel pen a little bit more than this one, but I love Alcrate's enamel pens. Like, I say it every time I've unboxed Alcrate's. I love that they automatically include these in their boxes. So my Alcrate pen collection is ever growing. Love it. Next we have some colored pencils. Alcrate exclusive bookish colored pencils. So are these just regular colored pencils? Oh no, it holds the phone. They each have a hashtag on there. So we have hashtag book mail, best mail to get. And then we have hashtag once upon a time. And then we have hashtag shelfie, which kind of what I'm doing now. And then we have hashtag one more chapter, which has been my saying my entire life. And then we have hashtag bookstagram, and then hashtag books and coffee, heck to the yes, hashtag to be read, our lovely TBRs that never seem to get smaller. And then we have hashtag carpe librum, and then we have hashtag treat y'all shelf. <laughs> That is awesome. And so instead of treat yourself, treat your shelf, which I do. My shelves get plenty of love. And then we have hashtag bibliophile. Did I say that right? Bibliophile? Yeah. And then hashtag currently reading, which I am currently reading the last book of the Illuminae files. And last but not least is hashtag Alcrates. That is freaking awesome. I normally don't like pencil type things, but I absolutely adore the hashtags on these. Now, will I be able to keep these away from my kids? Probably not. <laughs> They're both into coloring right now, and Xander always does want me to color with him, so maybe this will just be mommy's coloring set. Perfect us bookworms. Okay, and next we have, <laughs> it is an Alcrate exclusive coloring book. That is genius and hilarious at the same time. Let's see what we have. No way. It is a coloring book with every enamel pins from this entire year. So I have every single one of these enamel pins, like legit, every single one. I've had a box this entire year. Ooh, I really liked that one. Oh, I loved that book. And it has our very last one that we just got. Like I normally don't have a lot of free time to color, but 
That is so freaking cool. Because I know a lot of adults like to color as like a stress reliever. Owlcrates, you are blowing my mind as always. And finally, we are to the book. As always, it is an exclusive signed edition. And it did come with a letter from the author. This is pretty. It's the Guinevere Deception. I think if I said that right, by Kirsten White. I adore this cover. Wow. Okay, and it should be signed by the author. Yes, it is signed. Let's see what it looks like without. So we have two keys with a sword indented on the front of the book and then green on the spine. But I'm gonna go ahead and read the description real fast. Princess Guinevere has come to Camelot to wed a stranger, the charismatic King Arthur. Hold the phone. So this is like a retelling. That is awesome. With magic clawing at the kingdom's borders, the great wizard Merlin conjured a solution, sent in Guinevere to be Arthur's wife and his protector from those who want to see the young king's idyllic city fail. The catch, Guinevere's real name and her true identity is a secret. She is a changeling, a girl who has given up everything to protect Camelot. To keep Arthur safe, Guinevere must navigate a court in which the old, including Arthur's own family, demand that things continue as they have been and the new, those drawn by the dream of Camelot, fight for a better way to live. And always in the green hearts of forest and the black depths of lakes, magic lies in wait to reclaim the land. Arthur's knights believe they are strong enough to face any threat, but Guinevere knows it will take more than swords to keep Camelot free. Deadly jousts, duplicitous knights, and forbidden romances are nothing compared to the greatest threat of all, the girl with the long knotted black hair riding on horseback through the dark woods toward Arthur. Because when your whole existence is a lie, how can you trust even yourself? The first book in the Camelot Rising trilogy so this is going to be a trilogy. I love retelling stories, especially when it's kind of from a new angle. And that just sounds so freaking good. But guys, that was everything from Alcrate's December box. Let's take a quick look at the pamphlets. As always, it has the interview with the author. And then we have the Alcrate exclusive cover and the regular. You know, for once, I think I might actually like the regular cover a little bit more just because I love the purple. Like, both are still really pretty. But yeah, I think I like the purple one more. You guys let me know, which one do you like more? We have an interview with a vendor, which is Novelly Yours, who made the candle. We have the photo challenge. And then we have another playlist from Spotify with Medieval Magic. That is so freaking cool. But again, it doesn't have as many details for January's box, but it does have the little card and it says the theme of the January box is vengeance will be mine. Ooh, flip for sneak peek. Every January box will include the next mug in our series from artist Kara Kozik. So we have a, another Harry Potter mug coming in the January box. I am beyond excited. I totally missed the first three, but I was able to get the Goblet of Fire one, and I adore her mugs. But guys, that was everything from the box. As always, you will have to let me know what was your favorite item, least favorite. I liked so many things from this box. The book sleep was awesome, our little earmuffs, the hand warmer, like, but the Alcrate coloring pencils and coloring book, I have to say are my favorite items, surprisingly. I just love that they did that with all of the book related hashtags and every enamel pin that we have gotten this year to kind of celebrate all the books that we got in 2019 from Alcrate. So yeah, definitely my favorite item. Uh, least favorite, didn't have one. Like, 
you know. No, but for real, I do not have one. Both of these boxes, as always, were absolutely amazing. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hey, welcome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to join my small community of Harry Potter lovers and bookworms. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys. I'm thirsty. Stop eating your hair. Oh, that's annoying. I have to move the trash out of out of frame. <laughs> is it upside down? Yes, yes it is. Oh, wow. Keep eating my hair. Murder. Um, but 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 is it a little blah 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 blah? As always, it an ex it words at oh, at, as always, it an oh my god, and my foot's asleep. Sure, uh, 129 is 129 is Stag and plash and then we hey Kit Kat. She's making a cameo. Kit Kat decided to get in the box. Um I still need to get stuff out of there. Move, please. No, don't no move. Oh, thank you. Get out of the box. Idealix idealic idealic. Idealix. Vengeance. Uh, box. <gasps> yes! Okay, sorry. Oh, you know how All Crate does. You know. <laughs> mm -hmm.